So the other week I was on Stacey Higginbotham's IoT podcast and we decided to live brainstorm and design an IoT mailbox sensor. We get a lot of people who want to set up some sort of mailbox sensor. I guess a lot of people have a problem with this because their mailboxes can be really far from their houses um, and it's inconvenient to go and check. So I asked my coworkers if they had this problem and my coworker Brian said his mailbox was, I kid you not, 10 minutes from his house. 10 minutes. Do you know how many things I could do in 10 minutes? Actually, that's 20 minutes because you have to walk there and you have to walk back. I hope you have some podcasts for your 20 minute mailbox walk, Brian. There are tons of things you could get done in 10 minutes. So if your mailbox is far away, there's a non-technical solution, which is to have your neighbor text you when they get their mail. But not all of us have neighbors or we're not in touch with our neighbors or are they even neighbors if they're 10 minutes away? What we can do instead is we can build a little robot that's going to text us when our mail gets here. So let's go do that. So our robot friend is going to sit in the mailbox, recognize when the mailbox has been opened, and then send a message to Twilio to send us a text. Okay, so we're going to get ready to build now. This is the Adafruit Phona. It can read a sensor and send us a text. We're gonna need a battery to power it. You can see the antenna right here. And this is a light sensor. It can tell us if it's bright or dark. And we can adjust it using this potentiometer. This lets us decide how bright it has to be before the light sensor goes off. If we hook everything up using a Twilio SIM, then we can receive messages sent from the board on our Twilio account and use it to send us a text. See here, this is where the SIM holder is. We're gonna take this and we can pop out this SIM this size and then we're gonna put it in like this pew all right so you can see on this board we are gonna have to plug this board into this board somehow uh there's a lot of ways to do this i mean you can strip and solder wires and, and things but um since this already comes with these headers right here i'm just gonna plug in these wires Thumbs up. So you can see that I'm covering the light sensor here. Um, right here, we should see if I uncover it, uh, the D D0 turns on, that means that it's seeing the light and it says I have mail. Okay, so this works pretty well, but I don't know about you, if I opened a mailbox and I saw this inside, I might be kind of scared. So we gotta put this in something so that it looks somewhat less scary. <laughs> so if you're like me, you may have some leftover Easter eggs. We can combine these with some googly eyes to make a simple, happy enclosure for our mailbox sensor. You can see I've actually gotten a bunch of text messages while I was doing that. That's just like, it thinks I really, really have mail. All right, so uh, the other thing now is putting on the eyeballs. Ta-da! I'm Christine, and this was Built in a Day.